Although it is a bit hot and steamy, Ashley again has a Tuesday forecast for us, Ash. Good summer day. The kids like going to the pool, so yeah. you know, not a lot of complaints, not having to track a lot of storms today. So that's always good news when you're not listening out for those rumbles of thunder. Just tracking some heat, though. May have to spend some time indoors this afternoon to recover. Temperatures right now at 91 in Birmingham. Dew points, though, relatively low. All things considered, we had a little punch of drier air move in because of that wind out of the north, but that's not necessarily going to be the case for the rest of the week. Right now, temperatures this afternoon reach 93, two degrees above average. As mentioned yesterday, when we were at 90, I said this will be our last day where we see temperatures more seasonable. We're going to be above that mark for the rest of the week and today started that trend. Right now we're back at 91 in Birmingham, 93 in Fayette, same with Tuscaloosa, 91 down in Clanton. But when you add in a, just a little bit of humidity, it feels a few degrees warmer in a couple of spots closer to the century mark in Jasper. Feels more like 99 in Tuscaloosa, 96 down in Clanton. And this heat wave is actually draped across much of the nation where you see this orange highlighted here. That means areas that are impacted by the heat index right now now and that looks like literally from coast to coast temperatures for us right now staying in the 90s at least through dusk and then after the sun begins to set those temperatures will fall into the low 80s on their way into the upper 70s just around midnight into the mid 70s by early tomorrow morning the sky remains relatively dry for us stationary boundary sets up in the middle of the state south of that is where the rain is west of us is where that dome of heat is and that's where we're seeing those excessive heat warnings in northern Louisiana. Louisiana. This dome of heat is expected to slide east and that impacts Alabama by the middle and end of the week. We could start to see some heat advisories for ourselves by Wednesday. Dry scan on our storm team radar, but I am going to mention a few showers in the forecast in the coming days. Let's track that tomorrow morning. High and dry sunshine 70s. Then by lunchtime, low 90s could have just a few showers to our south. That's where the stationary boundary will be and where we have that stationary boundaries where the rain will develop. So just to the south of Clinton, I think most of the rain tomorrow will really stay south of I-20, but notice temperatures 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, mid 90s. It will feel more like the upper 90s, close to 100 by afternoon. As we move into Thursday and your repeat performance, 70s to start your morning with lots of sunshine, and then a few afternoon stray showers are possible, but it dries out just a touch there on Thursday. Lots of heat by the middle of the week and a few isolated storms by weekend, but those numbers staying in the 90s through Tuesday. And that's your seven-day forecast. Jack?